Yo, so I wanted to give a live update. Again, I'm gonna save this stuff, man. This dude's got a white mark coming through, but objectively, the point of this live is to discuss price point. This is definitely the one that I'm keeping <laughs> beyond a reasonable doubt. But I wanted to put a put perspective in terms of price, how you should structure your pricing. But these pups, this one right here, I'm telling you, if I didn't have to keep a Merle. This would be the one I kept. I mean, he's already got a white stripe coming down the back of his head. He's so tough. He's so tough. I love solid colored dogs, to be clear. The girl, homie Rich, came over last night to see him. She's special. She's special. He said it about 15 times. It just agitated me, to be clear. Because uh, I would keep her, too. We are keeping her in part of the program, but I personally would keep her. This is my guy. <laughs> this is my guy. His name's going to be Ego. I was thinking about naming him Big Mac. Because he looked like he wearing cheese. <laughs> but at any hoot. Let me see. Matter of fact, so I got this open. Let's talk price point real quick. How do you justify price? And who are you basing your program out after? Everything's based on market value. So here we have. Uh, first place is MVP Bullies. They do a lot of work. They've done some work with Bossy. As you see, this is a Merle Litter right here. This Merle Litter. This dog, that dog, sold out. His first pick went for 50 racks. That's on the male side. First pick on the girls went for 50 racks. I'm just drawing perspective. For those people who are like, oh, what do you mean, 500? 700? No, bro. These ones specifically start at quite a few thousand dollars. And it's, you know, it's not my, it's not by choice. It's me looking at the market. That's just one page. You can go to MVP. Kennels, MVP Bullies on uh, IG. See what they got going on. Now, we know Bossy's the standard. Again, sold out. Her first pick on anything Rome or Merle-wise starts at about 30 racks. I think he's a Merle producer or she is, but either way it goes. First non-Merle is 20,000. Fourth pick is 10. <laughs> Non-Merle fourth, 10. People have asked about pricing, so I wanted to put in perspective whether Swag Kennels is another one. That boy is tough. But look at this. First pick, 35,000. Second pick, 20, 35, etc. People, people for one are spending this money. That's how some of these big kennels, big Gemini kennels. He started years ago, but his first mill reserves buyout is 40 racks. Third pick, buyout. First pick, female buyout, 35 racks. This is not a cheap process to be clear. Um, and, uh, let me see, let me switch this camera around. Here we go. It's not a cheap process to be clear, but again, when you understand market and the market value and then what you're doing, I stayed up for almost six plus months. For one, I started building relationships with all kind of dog people. So I got a lot of dog friends out here, a lot of dog associates. I had Merle Bully Nation up on my computer and every night I would go through and see what was going on. Because if you know anything about Merles, they had to wash out different dogs, which means most of the dogs don't even look like bullies. So a few people got it right. And that's why we're seeing a great, uh, some great things take it, taking place with the Merle specifically. But the Alapaha Bulldogs produces Merle. The Catalua, which they washed out. Uh, the English Bulldog. They've done some more with that. So they wash it out, meaning they breed it to a dog they shouldn't be breeded to. So they can implement the color. Take the dog that looks the most like the pit bull, bully, whatever you're doing, and keep bringing in, implementing that program. And then finally you get a product that you can sell and scale. But washing it out is how this was done. So I know that I wanted to keep the dogs as close to Zara's look and what a bully should look like, period. Which is why I took the time to do the research. And then if you know anything about blood or DNA or what they call bloodlines, Zara's got some, some good blood in her. And I needed a dog to match that or at least highlight it because she was going to be uh, the person who had a large impact on how the dogs really turn out intellectually, health-wise, etc. So first pick starts at seven. Second pick, six. Third pick is five. And that's cheap for the three dogs that are left to go we only have five i'm only selling three two of them are merles and one is a fawn uh, try or i don't know what he is to be honest not just yet he looks like a lilac try but and if he has the merle gene he can still throw merles you saw again the video where you it says non-merle neither dog really look merle even though the girl is more than likely merle but they don't always throw 
because it is a gene thing and they pull from a lot of places. So these dogs, again, I repeat, they're not going to be cheap. Um, there's a lot of money that goes into the process. Uh, and uh, my buddy Rich, for instance, uh, and I'm not going to tarry too long on some stuff. My buddy Rich, he sent me a, it's a guy named, I don't know his name, but he does Admiral Exotics and he does free game Saturday. So put in perspective how much money you spend fucking up. Now spend the money to get it right. He messed up a few times and he tells you the truth about the things you should do to protect the dogs. These particular dogs, I spent every dollar I got to make sure that we got to this point. And again, this one right here. Jesus Christ. This one is <laughs> my favorite. He is the one that I am, at this moment in time, beyond a reasonable doubt, keeping. He's tough. But it's because I did my research and we got it right. And there's three dogs for sale. How do you justify price? I'm a businessman. Look at the market. What's the market doing? I really don't give a shit that this is my first litter. That don't mean nothing because I've got over 10 years of experience in this particular. Maya, my friend, we don't know, boss. We don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. She might not have took man. I always told everybody she's going to be a little bit harder to, uh, to get pregnant, unfortunately. So I'm probably, unfortunately, going to have to drive her way up. About eight hours away to meet with the guys the next time. But Maya's another one who's going to do some some heavy producing, so I'm just putting it out there. Uh, moving forward, no dog, especially when I take Zara to Hot Shot, will be less than, I mean, the starting price will be five and go up from there. And the marketing I'm about to do now that the pups are here and I know what she can produce and throw out, it's going to be OD. You'll have, you'll have access to digital books, digital information to, to train your dogs, protect your dogs, what to feed your dogs, all this stuff's being put together. And because they have to eat off of her for the next four weeks, I probably won't be sleeping much. <laughs> so I'll be up working on as much things as possible, making sure people understand the benefits of what it means to have a fit bully. I'll give you guys another look again at these puppies so you can see how they're looking. These two look like twins, even though one guy thought I was sitting the same picture. I was like, nah, bro, this one right here, I'm telling you, I would keep him. If I didn't have to keep him, oh, Lord Jesus. He's probably the prettiest dog that, I, that that's really in this bunch. And I don't know how he's going to turn out yet, but he's got the try markings. <laughs> Clearly, he know he know where the ninny's at. And then Zara's daughter, of course, she's she's gorgeous. Super smart, extremely intelligent already. I, I just know she's going to be good to go. So, stay tuned as we continue to uh, put some dogs in some great places. Market the shit out of them teach you guys as much as I, I know. I've got a lot of people who reach out who I've partnered with and, and talk to regularly about dogs. We talk we talk shop, we talk dogs. I spent the minute the girls they had their first bleeding at six months, I start reaching out to dog people every week, every day. I talk to new dog people. And that's how I've built some of the relationships I've built with how I was able to get Baloo. Baloo's one of those dogs nobody should have got access to. And I paid seven racks for third pick and they didn't even sell the first and second pick just to be clear they were like you know we changed our mind we're gonna keep every dog but we gonna give one to you trev well they didn't give it to me you understand so bear with me as i try to make uh you know it make more and more sense but a lot of people in the dm asking about these dogs people <laughs> they're not cheap when I, when I say five for the third pick it's five racks off top. We not even talking nothing less. Her C-section loan was twenty two hundred dollars. The stuff he was fifteen plus, and that was on the discount. You start looking at time, effort, and energy as you guys see what Zara can do. I'm not doing this for fun. I'm not doing this to have a beautiful dog and just put it, put it, uh, put some you know nice pictures up. I know how to take crazy pictures. I'm doing this because I want people's homes to be better because of my dogs. It's always been that way. It's always been that way. I've been able to put my dogs in a lot of places over the years, over 10 years, putting dogs everywhere. It's always made a home better. They always will. So I'm going to define what a fit bully is, starting with Zara and her babies. And uh, we're going to keep work, working through some things to make it all come to fruition. So stay tuned. And as I say on the other page, T Fit page, Stay moving. The rules are simple. How else do you expect to improve? T Fit with Fit Bully TV signing off. That YouTube better get fit, fit to get built out as well. We got shirts coming. 
so much, man, so much. That's all for now. <laughs>